This morning, we've got a very nice email from our user, Jenna. It's saying, I am absolutely loving Active Tables. It's made quoting so much easier. The only thing I'm still trying to figure out is rounding up. Is there a way to do that? Cheers, Jenna. First of all, thank you for your very nice email, Jenna. I'm glad you like the plugin. And second, yes, of course, there is a way to do rounding. I do not know how your quote document looks like, but fortunately enough, we've got another document that needs rounding to uh, that needs to apply rounding. And this is Richard's document because Richard needed to increase the prices in his price list for 5% and he needs them to be rounded. So first, we'll start by increasing for the 5%. You can see I've taken the original price list table, copied it and placed it somewhere on the baseboard where it doesn't get printed. Then we proceed to the table in the printable area. We just delete the price, insert a new formula, select direct cell selection tool, select the corresponding price in the original table, hit enter, you can see the price got copied. Now we select the formula again and we increase the price for 5% which is we get the result and we add times 1.05. Now we've increased the prices for 5% and you can see that the 40 cents appeared here and all the other prices have just the double zero. There would be a one way to round to whole dollars and that would be just to remove the decimal numbers and the price will get rounded. You can see here it's rounded to whole 50. If we copy this formula and paste here, you can see it's transformed to the corresponding data. If we round to choose the 58.50, 80 becomes the 59. But I suppose Richard wants to keep his price list as looking as this with the double zero. So we need to employ the round function. We go to the first formula in the table again, and we type in round in front of the table address times 1.5, left parentheses. Then we keep the original formula as the first argument for the function. We put in comma and we put in zero because zero rounds to whole dollars in this case. We hit enter, you can see the price changed to 50. If we copy and paste the formula again, can see this price changed to 59, this one to 93. What if we wanted this $59 to be rounded to $10 and be $60? In this case, we delete the zero in the formula argument, so the formula is round, table 2d4, which is the address, times 0 0.5, which is the whole formula, comma, and instead of zero, which would round to whole dollars, we put in minus one. And you can see the 59 is now 60. If we copy it back down, 93 becomes 90. This becomes 80. The result was probably a little higher than 78 anyway. If we, however, want to round to 10 cents, we put in 1. And if there was a 1 cent price, we could put in 2 and it would be kept. We can create a whole new formula with just a simple number so we can see the results. Let's try this one. Just copy this and paste this into the formula. You can see it's 64.23. If we want to round this number, we type in round just in front of it, left parentheses. We keep either the type the number or a formula result as a left argument or as a first argument in the function, up in comma, and if I enter 2, it rounds to two decimal numbers. You can see nothing changed. If I, however, want to round to whole numbers, I put in 0, and you can see the number became 64. If I type in minus 1, I round to whole tens, the number is now 60. 64 times 23, rounded to tens, becomes 60. If I put in minus 2, I'm rounding to whole hundreds, now it becomes $100. So the round function 
First, enter the number you want to round, either a type the number or a formula result. Then, type in code for how many decimal numbers or if you want to round number to whole numbers, tens, hundreds. So, this was rounding for Jenna and Richard. I'm looking forward to your other emails asking about other functions.